Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, starting the day off, I can't start on what I wanted to do right now. Um, tech, um, actually heading to go pick up my dad, go back to Kaiser, because last night I had to rush back to his house because he wasn't feeling good and thought he was having the fever, so I thought maybe he was going to catch, you know, the coronavirus. And turns out that it, he was just low on blood sugar. So I think he was... Uh, 53 he was so got him got his levels back up so now he was okay but I gotta go take him to an appointment for COVID testing and then take another appointment to do testing for his blood to see if he has to do another transfusion so it's kind of rough because seeing my mom go through a lot with all the testing and constantly driving and taking care of her and all this types of medicine and then eventually watching my mom pass away in front of me, which was one of the hardest things for me to deal with and kind of messed me up and well, messed me up a lot. So my dad is, seems like he's going through the same thing and it's, you know, it's hard. It's not easy and, and it doesn't help that I'm you know, I can't speak to my daughter to kind of, you know, bring me back to happiness. But I'm trying to stay focused, trying to keep a mental state. So the line starts here and goes all the way to where those tents are on the other side of the complete parking lot. So most likely we'll be here for a long time and We'll see you guys back at the house. All right, so it's day two. Uh, my dad yesterday had the COVID testing, waiting on results through the website with Kaiser. Um, went out and took my stepmom grocery shopping for the household. And that was like, I was at, well, yesterday I was at that hospital for five hours, uh, taking care of all the appointments, medication waiting on all the lines and then um, it was about four hours of just grocery shopping with my stepmom going everywhere and doing things and just right now um, again we have to uh, call 911 because my dad has to go back to the hospital so they're gonna be keeping him over night most likely and monitoring him and checking on him to make sure that Everything is okay. Um, there's nothing I can do. I can't go in the hospital. I can't be with him in the bedroom or the, in his room. So just waiting. Um, yeah, I don't uh, know what's going to happen. I'm trying to just stay busy to clear my mind. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, Clean the bumper off of the other Civic and then um, put the line license plate on here. The reason why I want this bumper is because uh, this one this one has the uh, fog light covers and the intake hole. So of course it's not gonna match paint because this one is the gunmetal gray OEM collar and mine is the um, the blue OEM collar. I don't know the code for that one, but yeah, so I'm going to just clean it down, wipe it. I have no idea where the lip went. There was a lip on this, but I guess I took it off. I don't know. So I got to swap the lips, put the license plate on, bolt this one and back onto the daily, and I'll be using this front bumper and I gotta go look for sandpaper because I know my mom got some in the garage. So I just gotta sand it down and then um, paint it and then it should be good to go. So yeah, so let me get started on wiping this down and yeah. So the bumper is all clean. The only thing bad that I did notice is tabs are broken on both sides. So Luckily I have quick releases, so I gotta just drill in and put some quick release for the bumpers. So that'll be easy, no biggie.
But yeah, how much clean? I'm really digging this. This is gonna help so much with the cold air. <laughs> it's uh next day uh last night i had to uh, go pick up my dad they released him uh, got home about my dog's tripping i got home about 1 1 30 um i just got a phone call right now by my stepmom that my dad tested positive for covid so my dad already has breathing issues. He has a lot of issues and I'm just scared. I am scared now um, because I've been doing all the helping and driving and taking care of them with the physical stuff and being active in front of them. Now I have to take a COVID test again. So this will be my fifth test. Um, all four were negative. So I'll be taking this one because uh, yesterday my notice that my stepmom was coughing. Um, when I go out, I double mask. Um, I feel fine. I feel great. Um, but I'm, like I said, I've been around them, taking care of them, moving things, handling this and that. And yes, I am um, phobic germ. I do um, sanitize my hand after going everywhere. So... Like my hands are super soft and I also um, use this spray that my older sister Angie gave me. It uh, has the blue light so I shine this all over my phone, keys, my diabetic bag that I carry and it also has alcohol. So I do, it mists and I spray my clothes on whenever I come home. So. Am I paranoid? No, I'm just playing it safe. And then also I use this brand. So I have a couple bottles of this. I spray this through the whole house and then I walk the dog because um, I want to kill all whatever's in here. Um, and it does, my house does smell like a hospital because of the smell, but like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So... I'm just, I'm worried. Um, I'm trying to, you know, stay positive or whatever and be, but at the same time, I'm scared. So I'm gonna cut the video short because I really just need to clear my mind. This is pretty rough. So um, like I said, I'm worried because my my father is uh, he's sick and now he has COVID, he has to fight that with what he's already been fighting for the past year. So, yeah. All right guys, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Keep you guys updated.